So over the past week or so, if you've been on Twitter, then you've seen that Ruby Rose met her number one spender on OnlyFans. She even posted a screen recording of all the texts he sent her, ending with him getting her face tattooed on his leg. And because millions of people saw this, they started to recognize him from being on the MTV show True Life, I'm Addicted to Porn. This coincides with my interests. And you guys know that feeling you get when you see someone that you know you've seen before, but you can't figure out from where? Well, the whole time I'm making my videos, that was, th that was basically me. But then, like Jesus laying a golden egg directly into my hands. My homie sends me this picture that says, I found his TikTok. He's not a crypto whale. He does tooth gems for celebrities. This is all a fake marketing campaign to promote Ruby Rose's OnlyFans and it's clearly working because Ruby has never seen engagement like this. Now, I don't know how much of this is true, but I can 100% confirm that he has done, he was at one time doing tooth gems for celebrities, which if you don't know what those are, they're uh, famous people. Just kidding. But uh, they're the plastic little things you put in your teeth and you keep them on until you get drunk and swallow them in your sleep. But this is where I remember him from because I specifically remember him giving Charlie and Dixie a tooth gem and I thought it was fucking hilarious that this is the guy who was doing this for them. They have kits on Amazon for fucking six dollars. But if you look up this profile it shows here, you'll still find it up on TikTok and he hasn't posted since 2021. But you can see, like I said, he was the one who gave Charlie and Dixie their tooth gems like I remembered. And the Instagram he has linked doesn't work anymore, but if you search the tooth furry on instagram only one video comes up and you can see they tag two accounts the tooth furry and lamar the great and like i said the tooth furry one doesn't work but the lamar one does so i said fuck it let me just ask this guy straight up and either get an answer or be left undelivered and to my surprise he actually answered and by answered i mean he hearted my messages. But I ask him, are you the crypto whale guy? And he hearts my message. And I'm like, that's fucking awesome. And for whatever reason, I send this next message saying, can I ask you about this though? Because it's going around Twitter and it wasn't going around Twitter, but I just wanted to answer. But before the picture even sends, he hearts this message, assuming he thought I had a question about the Ruby thing. But as soon as he saw this picture I sent, he doesn't respond. And I'll screen record to show you this is in the actual DMs. And some of you are probably asking, well, how do you know if this is actually him? It could be in imposter. I doubt the one account with a one post of him from three years ago went back to edit the post and put a fake account in the caption. And even then you can go to his following and see he's following this account called one of one spender where he is actually tagging people that are asking him to reach out to them. Even a podcast account was commenting because they want him to go on. And yes, I even messaged this account and asked the same question about the picture because I'm not the one to look into things like a fucking madman. But this dude was down for a question until I sent this picture. I even quadrupled down on the messages to at least try and get left on scene, but I got nothing. After he saw this, he either he either knew I was in on his fucking scheme. Why would he not even be like, lol, yeah, that's fake or something, or at least something. I would have even taken a broken heart or a thumbs down emoji reaction as a response. But no, I got him shaking in his fucking boots with this picture. And it's not like he doesn't have connections to link up with celebrities. His whole account is just giving social media celebrities tooth gems. So the one video where he's with Juice World way in the back of the studio kind of makes sense. He was probably giving his girlfriend a fucking tooth diamond. And you guys remember the shirt he was wearing that everyone was talking about? Well, he's friends with the dude who makes the shirt. Here's even a video of him wearing another one. And, and, turn around. He's been rocking our merch since day one. Since day one? When was day one? The day you gave him the shirt he met Ruby Rose? Because in none of his TikToks is he wearing any of your shirts. And he stopped posting on his accounts until six days ago. So you're either lying or you're just a fucking liar. He doesn't even seem like the guy that would be sending those kind of texts. Dude is hanging out with people who are friends with porn stars. If what I had to do to keep my mediocre celebrity friend status was get a tattoo of some random girl on my leg and then act like a fucking cuck for a month until everyone forgets, you're acting like I already don't have dumb tattoos. Now, as far as him being a crypto whale, I was on the side of believing him, but being left on scene after this gives me doubts. And I'm telling you, I sent this one and got a heart reaction almost immediately. And it took a second for the picture to send, and then when he saw it, nothing. Some of you were also probably wondering, why didn't he just block me? Maybe because that would have been too obvious. Again, I don't like to look into things like this because then I start making assumptions that are completely wrong. But come on, you guys gotta admit, it's kind of weird. He stopped messaging me back after I sent this picture. And it's not like my profile picture would be confused for someone else. It's a fucking AI Xbox profile picture. But yeah, guys, this crypto whale hasn't really been showing me that he's a crypto anything, more of just a uh, pervert. And I mean, if you look at his followers, nobody significant follows him on either accounts. And I know that doesn't determine how much money you have, but look at my Bitcoin wallet. 
I just got that off Google. See you guys tomorrow or Monday. Peace.